నమస్కారం డాక్టర్ బిఆర్ అంబేద్కర్ సార్వత్రిక విశ్వవిద్యాలయ విద్యార్థులకు స్వాగతం hello viewers and dear students we would like to welcome you to the today's session on managing emotions at workplace i am sure you would enjoy this session uh, as much as we would really enjoy this session and uh, uh, this particular session is meant for manage mba students of first semester of dr b r ambedkar open university and before we proceed with this session today i would like to give you a brief introduction to the topic and then followed by uh, we have our the guest for us today uh, mr saket so i would give a brief introduction to the topic and then followed by introduction to the guest for us today now emotions are such an important theme that interferes with everyday life or every aspect of our life rather so therefore understanding the concept of emotions is very very important for example if you see today in all walks of life particularly at the political level you see how the politicians are interacting with each other on their uh, podium and how they are so emotionally uh, charged and then how they provoke people with their talks so you would find lot of emotional state at a higher level in politicians similarly you would find youngsters with lot of emotional uh, set or emotional mind today they are so excited every time when they come across lot of entertainment lot of uh, stimulating uh, uh, places around themselves so therefore uh, all these emotions definitely influence in on their behaviors so therefore as a subject of organizational behavior it definitely draws our attention to the concept of emotional intelligence so before we proceed with this concept of emotional intelligence i wish to draw your attention to another interesting concept called the intelligence all these years we were giving importance to the concept of intelligence because uh, without intelligence uh, we expect that people cannot perform their jobs so they are not identified as suitable for jobs but having realized after a very long long time it's not merely the intelligence which influences us but it is more than the intelligence and that's called the emotions we bring quite a range of emotions to our workplace and therefore understanding these emotions which are playing within us and also understanding the emotions which are interplaying in the others is equally important unless we understand each other's emotions and start performing or start working together we cannot have good relationships at workplace as much as we cannot have good relationships also in our family level and also at friendship level so this topic transcends into so many other aspects of our life but today in this session we would have more discussions only on emotional intelligence or managing emotions at workplace more than emotions in our personal lives so with this brief introduction i would like to introduce you to mr saket he is a practicing hr manager and then he has around 30 years of experience in the domains of hr and organization development field he is a qualified uh, uh, professional from a prestigious institution called tata institute of social sciences mumbai and then he is currently group corporate hro uh, for tropical animal genetics and is based in hyderabad and seattle between bangalore delhi and hyderabad so let's have a brief introduction to why the concept of emotions is very important for the students of management uh, as you see any individual who is coming for work is more or less is in a position to bring his own emotions to the work because emotion and persons cannot be differentiated as two individuals you know a person has emotions and the emotions also come with them but as you know most of the times at workplace lot of interactions happen between people people means again you know you communicate with each other because of this communication you also react to certain situations or the communications so the emotions are a part and parcel of human nature and because of this it is very important to understand as to what kind of emotions we are going through as individuals when we come for work 
this is where the emotions become important at work okay very interesting uh, perspective that you have brought in then uh, in the textbooks also we come across a comparison of the words intelligence and emotional intelligence could you draw some attention to that particular differences this is yeah. a very good question yeah earlier everybody used to talk about uh, you know iq which is the intellect intellectual quotient or something where people were always dealing with the individual's mind mm -hmm. as to how they how intelligent they are or what sort of a uh, knowledge they have or what kind of a problem solving techniques they have and those kind of things they used to uh, speak a lot and give a lot of importance also to those kind of things there over a period of time daniel goleman was the person who actually coined the word emotional quotient mm -hmm. and he said that while <coughs> as i told in the beginning of the session individuals bring lot of emotions at work and it is very important to understand those emotions and feelings and they started doing a lot of in depth research into how individuals react at workplace wonderful based on that it was diagnosed and deciphered hmm. that emotions play an important role in the corporate life as well as any kind of a work in which people operate in fact daniel goleman himself i remember to have read his uh, Uh, first time article in a magazine called readers digest way back in the year 1987 i think that's the time i was not much aware of this concept but gradually after so many years i realized that this concept has gained much currency even today in the corporate life it has it has become uh, such an important facet because youngsters particularly the millennials have come into the organizations now it's becoming very difficult for old timers like you and me dealing with such millennials or young people you know that i don't say they are devoid of conscious they are conscious but you know they do not know how to uh, mingle with uh, people around and they have their own perspective so they fight for their own perspective when somebody doesn't accept it uh, they differ with them and then they show off their emotional tantrums so how do we understand this or how do we address this issue because i think this is becoming a very tough uh, challenge for managers yes for us in the corporate world as you rightly pointed out professor mm. the most important thing that we are observing in the current millennials is they are more friendly with the electronic gadgets connected <laughs> with them and they stay connected with the electronic gadgets more than the individual interactions with people yeah. so it's very imperative on the part of the parents and also on the part of the millennials to understand this dimension and make a conscious effort and be aware of their emotions and also build that social skills which are very very important to you know make a mark in the corporate world yeah. as a corporate practicing uh, uh, chief human resources officer mm. i can vouch and based on my 30 years of uh, corporate experience that we always prefer those kind of uh, youngsters to recruit where they are quite balanced even in stressful situations mm -hmm. and in certain kind of situations when we recruit them we see how they respond to stressful situations okay so managing the emotions becomes an important thing mm. and it is important for all the students who are also having the benefit of this discussion and observing and learning sure to yeah. start socializing in a very big way and improve human contact rather than having more of mobile contact or internet contact with them and interacting with a virtual world mm -hmm. and get into the real world mm -hmm. and also observing the observing themselves and their feelings and emotions when they start socializing okay because as you see in a, a corporate world or any setup where individuals work yeah. especially the youngsters yeah it is important that they work in teams sure so yeah. unless they understand each other's ability to learn or each other's ability to connect yeah. and you know grow, grow along with organizational sure. growth yeah. it is important that they observe their feelings and observe others feelings also and observe yeah. emotions of the others as well yeah. as theirs yeah. and connect somewhere with the people to make it as high performance teams okay this is where bringing the emotional quotient to the place yeah. it takes a very uh, high board mm. and also it's important for the millennials and the youngsters who are looking forward to get into the corporate world from the academic mm -hmm. world yeah. to be uh, acutely aware yeah. of this factors how they are managing their emotions it's a very interesting observation in, in fact in most of the cases i have come across youngsters who are very angry with old timers and we coined uh, a term called revolt against authority yes uh, this is something which we see right from childhood little children revolt against the authority of the elder children similarly all children by and large revolt against the authority of the parents and from there it starts expression of their anger expression of all their bitterness unhappiness what not we have so many types of emotions can we draw attention of our listeners to 
what are those negative emotions and what are those positive emotions so that at least we can distinguish between them and then start understanding and appreciating the importance of addressing both of them uh, by and large and also specifically segregating the negative ones and the positive ones so that we can start uh, maturing more on the positive ones and then de relinquishing the negative ones. Yeah, that is a very good take professor. Mm -hmm. As you rightly categorized, it is very important for us first to understand emotions first more than yeah. uh, going and dividing them and putting into two different buckets mm -hmm. as positive or negative emotions. Yeah. It is very important to be aware that we have emotions True. and feelings yeah. and as you see a feeling is a very individualistic kind of a thing which I feel sure. like I eat an ice cream and I yeah. feel good about it. Yeah. I eat a chocolate, I feel good about it. Yeah. But emotions are something that are connected with a person dealing with a person other than himself. Yeah. So, emotions play a vital role. Sure. As you rightly pointed out, while anger is definitely a negative emotion that we can yeah. put it, there are instances where anger also works to mm. you know streamline the a, a, an erring child yeah, or a streamlining an erring student. You yeah. know, So, a context also makes a critical contribution in the uh, uh, space of emotions. Okay. So, but by and large when we are aware of what kind of an emotion we are displaying, mm. uh, the vital element of being awareness makes you a person to respond to situations rather than reacting. Today, they, uh, as you rightly pointed out, yeah. many children react very angrily and we are seeing in many of the academic institutions also Correct. the yeah. ability to not to contain themselves and then yeah. going and sitting in dharna yeah. is the only emotion they are able to display. Sure. This is because of lack of social skills and lack of understanding their emotions. Yeah. So, it is very important for the parents also as well as the grown up students who are watching this as the professionals yeah. pursuing the management course to understand this element and say can I give a different emotion other than an yeah. anger? And the moment a person understands this element and chooses an emotion okay. or a feeling mm. at the individual level or the other side also, sure. they yeah. will be much more effective and become functionally competent individuals to work in a corporate Very interesting. or when they yeah. face the real world. Because yeah. academic institutions insulate them because <laughs> uh, it, uh, li uh, the likelihood of a likeness mm. is everything common across, same yeah. classes, you know same kind of a streams true yeah. same process known environment but in a real environment it, it keeps dynamically changing and it You're is important right. for them to stay in tune with them mm. so these negative emotions especially if people understand before classifying them as negative or positive yeah. the moment let uh, somebody becomes aware that there is an emotion coming in me anger mm. and he counts 20 mm. and instead of reacting and gives a very positive way of uh, a, a conversation mm -hmm. then that negative emotion is converted into a positive emotion. Okay. The reason is mm. the moment somebody perceives a particular emotion as a negative or positive mm. he is aware as to what kind of an emotion he needs to express yeah. or what kind of a feeling he needs to mm -hmm. express. So, this is a very vital thing that every individual must be aware of mm -hmm. and also classify if that particular emotion is the right emotion being displayed or demonstrated mm -hmm. when they are caught up in a particular situation. I think you have pointed out very interestingly how to channelize our uh, negative energy or negative emotions into the positive ones and that lie that is the place where the uh, what you call uh, your awareness comes in the picture. So, that can we throw some light more light on how to convert that or how to channelize that negative energy into positive ones so that we can still be more positively emotionally uh, ready for our workplaces. Yes, as a classified it is very important for us to understand <coughs> as to how we are reacting to situations. Yeah. Uh, so, when we want to react to a situation you are exactly re responding to somebody else's question or a conversation. Yeah. So, before we uh, say that it is a negative reaction or a positive reaction, mm -hmm. the moment we become aware that a particular emotion is what I am going to display and check yourself, you know the kind of exact reaction you want to give and it becomes a positive emotion for you even if you are feeling angry. If we look through the positive side of the emotional state, for example, love is such a wonderful emotion, such a positive one, but today uh, we have misunderstood this concept. Love is, love is being uh, replaced with lot of hatred around growing intolerances across the world particularly among communities and also particularly in corporations there is growing intolerance for people from diverse backgrounds people from different backgrounds they come and converge at one workplace understanding them itself is becoming a very tough challenge 
so in the in this context what's happening lot of you know emotional outfits lot of differences of opinion and then you know that converts into hatred and then that converts further into bitterness and then that further converts into creating some uncomfortable situation for colleagues bosses and subordinates i think we should uh, pay some attention to this kind of a point so that our viewers would certainly benefit from understanding it as a manager how would you address this kind of a scenario uh, first and foremost as i told in the beginning of the lecture itself yeah. that the most important thing is we should be aware as to what kind of emotions we are going through yeah the moment somebody personalizes an emotion and the emotion overtakes him huh. the control on the self mm. is lost interesting this is what daniel goldman has specifically mentioned in his book uh, a, a masterpiece that I, i would suggest that all the students also mm. make a note of it and buy this book and read called working with emotional intelligence by daniel goldman interesting because in any corporation as you rightly pointed out the ability to work with diverse background of people and diverse genders now now the transgenders are also taken into the very interesting observation we are we are yeah. going all out and we have already recruited 3 4 transgenders also and the lgbt community has been recognized by the mm. supreme court of uh, india yeah. it is important that people understand irrespective of the backgrounds from where we come from mm. and appreciate the quality education that we have taken and not personalize any emotion which is very damaging to you as well as for the group and hold themselves accountable for the kind of emotions that they display yeah. and increase more of love rather than putting hatred into the thing by listening to uh, people or any kind yeah. of a instigation that happens very as we see mm-hmm. today powerful speakers across the uh, uh, spectrum of sports cinema as well as in politics yeah. as all students are aware they can sway the emotions of the public when they speak and make very uh, spiteful speeches exactly, or yeah. motivating speeches etc so it is for us with high quality education as management graduates mm-hmm. it's very important for us to understand our emotions mm-hmm. and take the quintessence of the message mm-hmm. and rather than getting riled up with something that is come there and use our emotions to our advantage by Correct. having a logical expression using the mind because it is very important for us to use the mind as well as the heart mm-hmm. as you rightly pointed out mm-hmm. emotions come because of heart mm-hmm. and it is very important to process these emotions using our mind but if you use only the mind the component of the love or the compassion that is required or yeah. the empathy factor yeah. which is something i would like to draw your attention yeah. to yeah. the empathy factor is lost and the most important thing of capturing that emotion you know takes a back seat mm-hmm. and the negative emotions come to the fore sure for yeah so in corporate Draw, back, back, back drop the most important thing that people have to understand is people come from different walks of life and education mm-hmm. makes them equal mm-hmm. and we give uh, a, a premium yeah. for all the people who have got team skills with them and the ability to work in teams and in a coherent and consultative and collective way very and putting cooperation as the key driver for them very interesting observation in the meantime i would uh, request you to quickly refer to one or two interesting cases from your own work experience over the time probably this last 30 years you have already put in diverse uh, corporations at least one or two interesting cases very quickly if we can draw sure. or uh, discuss sure. with It us is, yeah, with particularly the our viewers would benefit exactly yeah. uh, like we had a, a lady who was going through a lot of traumatic thing because she conceived and she had uh, she did not have the consent of her in-laws to carry the baby and both the husband and wife were working in our office okay. and they used to have fights in the office because of this issue rather than at home because they were very dominating parents back then mm-hmm. so one day the blood pressure was so high that she unable to contain her emotions after a fight with the husband came and collapsed in our restroom oh only to have a miscarriage later mm-hmm. that is the consequence of uh, not having control on emotions which was a big issue for, for the entire family and traumatic for the family and similarly in in one particular situation we had seen a particular uh, employee who was a much younger employee saw a security guard you know having a heart attack in the middle of the night he was doing the night shift and while he was coming back f- from the atm which was closer in the campus after ca- collecting the money as he saw the uh, uh, individual uh, security guard struggling with his heart attack mm-hmm. he saw that and in a, with a tremendous presence of mind 
he called up the requisite people all across there and without waiting for them he took the initiative uh, you know calling an ambulance and ensured that his colleagues uh, come in, in the night shift okay. and uh, seven of them you know came together and you know hospitalized the person the security guard mm -hmm. and ensured that his life was saved so he did not panic at that time mm -hmm. as a person who was overtaken by emotions especially in the middle of the night mm -hmm. not did the young person yeah. uh, thought that you know it was something that he could not do but he yeah. took charge of the situation by giving the right kind of uh, yeah. emotion mm -hmm. so these are the advantages of have, having uh, control over the emotions these two examples i can quote very interesting for all those wonderful uh, experiences that you had shared with, with our viewers particularly uh, dear students I think today you have definitely benefited from this lesson on managing emotions at workplace. I am sure tomorrow in your workplace, you will be able to manage emotions of your own self. First of all, you must be aware of your own emotional state and then also you must also understand the other's emotions. Unless we do that, we will not be able to maintain relationships with each other better. Because empathy, empathy uh, is also important. You cannot empathize with people also if you cannot understand each other's emotions. So therefore, understanding emotions is the central theme of this uh, uh, session. I hope you have definitely un uh, uh, learnt much from the experiences shared by Mr. Sh Saket today. And then before we conclude this, this uh, session, I wish to draw your attention to some important points as I summarize. Uh, emotions are very important. And we are born with emotions, we are built into with those emotions and these emotions play it every walk of life as we uh, grow, mature and then as we wither away from our, uh, from our own world. And therefore, this topic is very important for the students of management particularly. And then uh, there are actually positive emotions as well as negative emotions. And there is nothing called eliminating the negative emotions that is what we had learned from this uh, interview because we must, uh, we must realize that we are built into with these negative emotions as well as positive emotions packed into us Choosing is and therefore how do you channelize them or how do you convert the energy of those negative emotions into positive emotions is what we must pay attention to and that happens as we grow gradually as we grow matured and therefore we will definitely suggest you to do a lot of reading on emotional intelligence books particularly written by uh, Daniel Goldman and then not only that in your lesson course material there is a very interesting uh, uh, write up on emotional intelligence. So, therefore, I would advise you to read them well and then particularly start answering all the questions which are mentioned at the bottom of the lesson. I think that is the way you would st strengthen your learning and that will internalize and that will further be helpful to you during your interviews as well as in your workplace. So, we wish you all the best for uh, the subsequent uh, examinations also for the subsequent learning of this first semester program and then once again we wish you all the best and then let us thank, uh, thank uh, Mr. Saket for being with us today and also for having shared all those interesting lessons on emotional intelligence. So, thank you so much, sir. Thank you very thank much, you. Doctor. Ma karikar malapai, me suchanalu salahalu teli chayindi. Me suchanalu salahalu teli chay valsna ma chirinama. Director, Audio Visual Production and Research Center, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Open University, Prof. G. Ramredi Mark, Road No. 46, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad, Aido Sunna 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 Modo Modo